Okay, I wanted to touch base with you this morning on a pretty powerful uh, iPhone app. This is called Draw Things AI Generation. It is available for free. The developer is uh, Liu Liu. It's basically text to image generation on your iPhone. There are some fantastic features with this. I'm just going to do a, a quick rundown. If you use Stable Diffusion, this will be very familiar. I'll do a more in-depth review at some point, uh, but I just wanted to post some highlights here. Number one, it's on the iPhone. It's fantastic that you can carry this around, and when you have nothing else to do, pop in some text and start producing some images. Number two, the developer doesn't collect any data. Basically, what is on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. Three, you can choose from some great models already. We'll pop up some of this right now. These are fantastic. These are some of the ones that I've been using already. There's a few that I'd like to be able to import, and maybe there's a chance that we'll be able to add our own models later. Key point on that is these models are about 1.6 gigabytes per model minimum. So you have to have some space in order to use these to make sure you have enough hard drive space well uh, memory space on your phone but some of these are really fantastic arcane cyberpunk so this is number three the great thing about this also is that each time you choose a model it automatically puts the prompt token in the beginning so for that you'll see at the very beginning of the text here redshift style so you'll see that that's automatically input so if i switch it out and i change the model to oh modern disney and then we go back to here now it says modern disney basically these are the tokens that activate the model that you're choosing and by that i mean it will be a familiar link to what was actually trained when the model was uh, developed. So you want that text in front of this. So in order to be able to take full advantage of the model. So the prompt text activating before that is really great. And I wish that was possible on automatic 1111. And I think they'll probably add it in the future. Number four, it's feature rich, including in painting. So you can take your own images uh, put them in here, wipe out the background, fill it with a new one, and so forth, or change aspects of what's in the image. So that's fantastic. The other one is that you can enter in negative. So by just sliding this over, you can enter negative prompts, so what you don't want in the scene. You can also add, so every time you click on this seed generation, it will produce a new seed. But if you double click on it, or hold it, you can enter your own seed as well. So that's the really cool thing with that. That allows you to have a consistent image generation. Well, consistent is relative with stable diffusion and the text to image generation, but it'll be very similar. So it's nice to be able to have that each time. You can also switch out to different types of frame sizes. So by just switching each one of those, it'll change the background and so forth and the size of the image. Number five, you can choose uh, the sampler that you're using. So down here, I typically prefer DDIM at the top, but the uh, DPM uh, 2M Caris also works really well. Number six, it's relatively fast on the iPhone. This is an iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max, so I'm sure you're going to get, you know, different mileage with yours. Uh, it does uh, make it toasty, so your device will get warm because it is processing a tremendous amount of uh, data. It's pretty cool. A processor intensive. Let's do Arcane version 3, and here are the steps. So you can go all the way up. That's pretty awesome. So we're looking at 20 right now, and 20 is fast. It gives you a relative... Uh, quick time. We're going to run that. Arcane style is already put in the prompt, and we're going to generate. This is real time, so I do kind of like the uh, indicator here, the blue that's eating up the red, basically. And real time again. This is, <laughs> you can check, uh, you can have your guidance scale. Um, all of the things. It's really feature rich. I, I'm just stunned. And for now, at least, it's free. So 
download it. And uh, this developer, I wish, um, I don't know if the developer has a place to um, put, to give them some money. <laughs> but I would think that that's uh, something that this person would probably enjoy. Now yeah, that's um, the image is done. And what I did at the end of this is I put centered in frame because that in the text prompts. So and the nice thing about this also is you can highlight. It pulls up this little highlight with these texts that are in there. Automatically uh, highlights it so you can change that text on the fly. That sort of thing. It's fantastic. So we're going to do that. Let's go back to another one here. Up here. Let's do classic animation. And it automatically puts it in there. Classic Disney style. And go. Again, real time. And popular complete engineering edit workflow. So this is the person's website. Fantastic. What they need to do is put a little thing in here just for a tip jar or something. Because, um, yeah, that person really needs to have some uh, benefit, I would think. And uh, like I said, even just a tip jar is, is, would be great. And here we go. Boom. So that's a quick rundown. I have to head out of here, but uh, I did want to share that. And uh, <laughs> it's on the iPhone. Enjoy. If you have any questions please put it in the comments below and if you like this please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't thank you